welcome back friends so in this uh, tricks of the trade in gi surgery series that is short video series we are going to talk in this video about tension or mass closure of the abdomen so friends when we are dealing with a patient of fecal and peritonitis acute necrotizing pancreatitis or worn that is walled of necrosis patient with infection worst abdomen or dehiscence in the post operative period when we are going for a secondary delayed closure or there is a gross abdominal sepsis or there is a nutritional compromise then this technique is very handy so uh, in this uh, short video we are going to discuss two ways of closing the abdomen that is a mass closure two ways one is classical which is taught in the books and another is but we have modified over the period of time and we have applied this technique in very marginal patient nutritional compromised patient with albumin of 0.5 and 1 gram per deciliter and we have uh, delivered very good results so stay tuned till the end of this video so quick recap friends in this series we have already talked about how to negotiate the amylicus by giving the midline and season technique of of finding linear alva and midline in obese patient or morbid obesity patient how to have a bloodless access to the linear alva to negotiate the falciparum that is not through the falciparum in this video we have also demonstrated the live technique uh, during the surgery the fourth video was about the importance and uh, anatomical importance of arcuate line in closure of the midline wounds friends uh, as i said earlier uh, these uh, short video series has been created uh, keeping in mind the interest of junior trainees who are just venturing into the field of surgery and uh, with these small small short videos we are trying to convey our tips that takes up trade and we hope that uh, you will get some better insight and will be able to deliver better to your patients so uh, in this picture this is the classical mass closure technique which is taught classically in the books and uh, we will also demonstrate our technique which we have modified for the benefits and uh, we have i mean uh, seen it's better so both techniques will be discussed and uh, it is up to you to decide which one you want to follow uh, this is straight forward technique and uh, we take a suture that is uh, we follow pds loop Uh, we divide the loop and convert into single thread, or you can use the nylon, whatever it is your practice. But we prefer PDS uh, number one loop, and uh, so there are basically four passes. And the first pass, as depicted here in this uh, diagram, will be through the skin and muscle. So muscle we have to take. In the uh, video of uh, arcuate line, we have demonstrated that there is no need to take the muscle bite. We have to only take the sheath. and so do watch that video also so the first pass first pass as demonstrated is through the skin uh, the attractus muscle the peritoneum then this pass goes uh, to the other side and uh, this is again through the uh, peritoneum muscle and subcutaneous tissue it comes back that is a third pass it is subcutaneous tissue muscle and peritoneum and another fourth pass which is through and through that is uh, through the uh, skin and uh, the the skin passes are approximately 2.5 to 3 cm in practice we try to take more up to 4 cm and this suture is passed through the tubing that is the iv iv fluid tubing and uh, we will demonstrate in the next week also and uh, these sutures are uh, basically not tied these are the two ends are kept uh, securely in the artery forcep and uh, then we take these multiple interrupter suture Uh, over uh, over the whole length of the bone and the distance between the two suture is approximately 2 cm and at the end these sutures are tied so remember this picture the distance between the uh, two passes that is going to the skin is approximately 3 to 4 cm or classically taught is 2.5 to 3 cm